In the world of accounting, journal entries serve as a crucial tool for recording financial transactions accurately. Now we'll be diving into the topic of journal entries. Sometimes T accounts just don't cut it. So I'm here to explain why and offer you an alternative method. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of journal entries and I'll guide you through an example to make it all seem effortless. Unlock the secret to financial success with Counting Coins, where numbers come alive and your accounting game thrives. Hey there and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to explore in the realm of accounting, journal entries. We'll unravel their significance and make the process seem like a breeze. Let's get started! We explore T-accounts as visual representations of accounts and how to record transactions using them. However, in practical day-to-day -day scenarios, T-accounts can be impractical. They occupy a lot of space and it's easy to overlook a side of a transaction. That's why we need a more efficient method for recording transactions. But before we delve into the alternative, let's understand why recording transactions is crucial. There are several reasons why it's important to record your business transactions. Firstly, by using financial reports, you can assess your business's performance and determine if you're doing well or facing challenges. Secondly, proper recording of transactions helps you manage your cash flow effectively, ensuring that you don't run out of funds. Thirdly, maintaining organized records makes it easier to keep track of your financial activities. Additionally, when it's time for tax calculations, accurate and comprehensive transaction records prevent you from missing out on any eligible deductions. Lastly, if your business ever undergoes an audit, having well-documented records will prove invaluable. In fact, the process of recording all financial transactions is so vital that we have a term for it, bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is an essential task that can be performed regardless of the size of your business. Whether you have a small startup or a large corporation, there are various accounting software packages available to suit different budgets. Now that we understand why bookkeeping is important, let's explore the method we'll use to record transactions. Journal Entries Journal entries, often abbreviated as JEs, are records of financial transactions. They serve as a formal account of the transaction and provide detailed information about the accounts involved, the amounts debited and credited, and other relevant information. A journal entry consists of several components. First, we have the journal number, which acts as a unique reference to identify the entry. Next, we have the journal entry date, which represents the date when the journal is posted in the general ledger. This date is significant as it determines the accounting period in which the transaction will be reflected. Following that, we'll list the names of the accounts impacted by the journal entry. For example, in our case, we have cash and owner's equity. Notice how owner's equity is indented? This indention helps us identify the account that is being credited. The journal entry also includes separate columns for recording the debits and credits for each account involved. Finally, there is a space for a journal description. It's essential to provide a clear and concise explanation in this section, as it will serve as a reference for future use and make it easier to understand the purpose of the entry. If you've liked the video so far, please give it a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you would like us to cover next. Now back to the video. Remember, we are utilizing the principles of double-entry bookkeeping. This means that every journal entry must have at least two sides, a debit and a credit. The total amounts in the debit and credit columns must match precisely to ensure the accounting equation remains balanced. If you are using account software like QuickBooks or similar programs, they typically enforce this requirement, preventing you from posting an entry with unmatched debits and credits. However, if you're manually managing your books using spreadsheets like Google Sheets or Excel, you must pay extra attention to ensure your debits and credits are in balance. There are two types of journal entries, automatic and manual. Automatic journals are a feature of accounting software. They automatically generate entries in the background as you enter invoices and receive payments, saving you valuable time. On the other hand, manual journals are typically used for adjusting entries and unique transactions that cannot be handled automatically. With manual journals, 
you need to complete all the fields in a template, similar to the one I showed you earlier by yourself. Now let's dive into an example to put these concepts into practice. In my previous video, I started my own landscaping and lawn care business, which has been running successfully for a week. However, my equipment has become faulty and needs repair. I take it to the repair shop and they charge me $20, which I pay in cash. Let's walk through the process of recording this transaction using a journal entry template. First, we need a unique journal entry number to identify this transaction. Since we discussed our first five transactions in a previous video, we'll label this one as number six. The journal entry date will be the 21st of September as it is when the equipment was fixed. Therefore, this transaction will appear in the September accounting period. Next, we identify the accounts impacted by this transaction. In this case, we have repair costs and cash. Repair costs is an expense account, the E in dealer, and debits increase expenses. Since the repair shop charges $20, we record this amount in the debit column for repair costs. On the other hand, cash is an asset account, the A in dealer, and credits decrease assets. To indicate this credit, we indent the account description for cash and enter $20 in the credit column. Lastly, we provide a description for this journal entry. Let's call it Repair Costs Week 1. Now that our journal entry is complete, it's easy to be posted in the general ledger. Let's recap what we have learned so far. Bookkeeping involves recording all financial transactions in a business. A journal entry is a formal record of a financial transaction. The debit and credit columns in a journal entry must always balance. Automatic journals are used in accounting software to save time, while manual journals are used for adjusting entries and unique transactions. As you embark on your journey to master journal entries, remember the significance of bookkeeping and the impact it has on measuring business performance, managing cash flow, and maintaining organized records. By implementing proper journal entries, you ensure the foundation of your financial management is solid. So take the knowledge gained from this video, apply it to your own accounting practices, and watch as your understanding of journal entries transforms them from a daunting task to a valuable asset in your business's success. Have you ever encountered a challenging situation when recording financial transactions? How did you handle it? Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts, questions, and accounting victories. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. So I'll see you in the next episode of Counting Coins. Happy accounting!